Well, hello everyone, it's me, Christine, again. Almost everyone out there has wondered the important question. How long does toenail polish last? We've all seen the memes or jokes about how quickly fingernail polish will chip, but toenail polish, no. That will last through an earthquake. So all this got me thinking, how long does toenail polish actually last down to the very last little chipped piece? This calls for an experiment. How long one's toenail polish might last is dependent on a number of factors. One, your foot's exposure to the world. Don't mind my feet, better get used to it. If you wear socks and shoes most of the time like I do, then you're safer from chipping hazards. But if your feet like to fly naked and free, then you might be more prone to chipping. Two, how quickly your nails grow. Everyone is different here. My toenail polish might last longer than yours because my nails just grow slower. I don't know. And finally, your application method of the polish. The right cleaning and nail prep, the right application technique, how you seal the nail, all of this will influence influence how long your nail polish lasts. Let's cover some ground rules for this experiment. There will be no toenail polish touch-ups allowed if I get a chip. I can't paint over it. You can trust me. <laughs> and I definitely can't remove and redo any toenails. I'm gonna have to trim my toenails at some point, but I will try my best to do so carefully so I don't chip the ends of the polish. I will do check-ins every week or two, and if I have any major toe stub incidents, I will report them. <laughs> I think the first chip will happen at three weeks. And how long until every last bit of polish is either completely chipped off or grown out? Six months? Is that crazy? Is this a six month long experiment? Man! I think there will be no nail polish left on your toenails by Christmas, which is 14 weeks from now. So three and a half months. All right, and how much are you, are you betting? Nothing, I don't care. What? Place your bets below in the comment section. <laughs> All right, it's toe painting time. First, we gotta do some toenail prep. Take a look at my nasty, nasty New York Fashion Week inspired nails. That'll tell you just how long ago this video was recorded. <laughs> Day one of how long does toenail polish last on Simply Nail Logical. We'll see you next week with a check-in. I just had a revelation. So you know how in my how to grow your nails video I calculated the rate of growth of my nail? Why didn't I just measure my toenail and then apply the rate of growth calculation to my toenail to see how long it would take to grow out? Predictive analytics, Christine, you should know this shit. <laughs> the day after I painted them, I'm not cheating, I promise. My longest toe, the big toe, measures 1.6 centimeters. And based on my mathematical calculations, it would take 368 days for my largest toe to fully grow out. That's a whole year. Okay then, see you next week. Let's take a look. Not one chip in sight posted the shower video this weekend and a lot of people were noticing my flat feet. Yes, I have flat feet. You know, the one good thing about having weirdly shaped flat feet 
is that I'm less likely to show up on one of those weird foot fetish websites. Oh, see you later. So it's week number three or four, I can't remember. And I'm currently at Threadbanger's house in North Carolina. So I can't take my update photo on my usual desk, but no chips so far. Hello, it's just me doing my things. We're on week five now. Check out those Tootsie Rolls. Do you see any chips, Ben? Ah, oh, that tickles. Let me get a taste here. Ew. Thanks for time traveling back to Halloween. See you on the next update. We have an update. So I just got home from a weekend visiting my family, took off my socks, and found a peely. Well, it's not really a peely as much as it is a a chippy, I guess. Oh, big toe, where did you go? Don't know how it happened. I wasn't doing any extreme sports this weekend. I think my toenails are getting a little long at this point, and so the more I step into shoes or, you know, other objects I might step my toe on, the more likely the paint is to chip. My right foot is still perfect, though. See you on the next one. Hi, I need to cut my goddamn toenails. <laughs> Time to go into surgery, Meredith. Goodbye. Happy holidays. Okay, so my toenails are kind of disgusting right now because I haven't taken care of them or done anything to them in over two months. See you next year, maybe. When you're in the middle of yoga and your toenail pops off. Well, I'm glad I do yoga by myself in my house because just imagine me having to whip out a vlog cam and like record my piece of toenail polish in the middle of the class. This marks the first chip on my right foot. So now my left foot isn't as left out. Namaste, bitches. Can you see me? I'm in a steam room, so it's pretty steamy in here. Karim booked us all a spa session, including a massage and a pedicure. So I'm gonna have to tell the person doing the pedicure that I don't want them to take off any toenail polish because I'm doing an experiment. <laughs> intentionally cleaning around my cuticles maybe softened the nail polish a little bit and yes she thought I was crazy for getting a pedicure and not wanting a pedicure <laughs> all right so I guess that traveling and going to the spa is a risk to keeping your toenail polish on for a while see you on the next one happy 2019 so it's a new year same uh, toenails and the update is the same since the spa I've lost three toenails entirely well like the polish on the nails not the toenail itself, imagine. <laughs> the toenails have grown quite a bit in the last four months and I think it's time for another trim. But first let's measure exactly how much growth we've had so far and then do some math. Looks like exactly four centimeters, 48 weeks, which is 12 months, which means one year minus already almost four months gone now equals eight months to go. Eight more months? What? <laughs> Time for a trim. My toenails are eroding. If we compare to last week's picture, this toenail right here is missing a little chip. Wonder where she could be. I know. Let's scan the yoga mat. What's that? It's just a piece of hollow glitter. <laughs> Found it. Do the puzzle pieces fit? <laughs> oh my god, we have an update. We have a major update. Menchi! Menchi! We lost a toe, people. So I was running around the house in these socks and I thought that I felt something on my toe, but I just figured it was like, I don't know, Menchi hair or a piece of dirt. <gasps> 
There she is. I'm so sad about this. Also, while we're here, let's get one thing out of the way. Toes are gross. <laughs> Feet are gross. And if you're still watching this video, you're gross. I'm just kidding, I'm more gross for making this video. I know I don't have the prettiest feet. I have some toes that are longer than others. The pinky toe curls in and disappears like a turtle. And it's not like I've been taking good care or any care at all of my toe cuticles. But in the name of science, we must endure the grossness of the toe. <laughs> Menchie. Menchie, girl. Oh my God, look at this toe move right there. Okay, see you around later, bye. Lost a piece in the bath of tea. Look, my toes are have been pruned. Tea pruned. Look at those nasty big toes. Ew. I don't know about you, but I'm really clumsy and I always stub my toes and then my toenails look like this. I guess we need a trim. So we're here in Florida visiting my grandmother who lives here for part of the year because she's like Canadian winters. I got hot pink hollow nails for the occasion, but my toenails on the other hand. Yeah. This is what I have to walk around with at the pool. I'm so pale, even my toenails need sunscreen. September, October, November, December, January, February, March. It's now April. Oh my God, we're on month seven and I still have toenail polish on. <laughs> wow. You're still here. Oh my God, I need to get new hollow slippers. That's disgusting, Christine, you peasant. We've still got both my big toenails hanging on for dear life, but it's only a matter of time before the nail polish chips away. Yes, time. That's what this video has taken, a lot of time. <laughs> we have an update, a sad update indeed. Look what I found on the shower floor. We lost so much. It's so sad to see you go. The toe of which is looking particularly disgusting and uncared for at this point. No, <laughs> they dropped it. Is it weird that as more toenail polish chips off and the closer we get to the end of this experiment, I'm actually feeling sad about it? <laughs> like, I don't want this to end now. <laughs> see you guys on the next update. They're still hanging on, y'all. They're hanging on for dear life. Let's take a look, see. Look how far they've grown. You know what's crazy though? Like, what is this in my toe? It's like one of those signs of nutritional or body deficiency where they like leave a line in your nail, but it's really from like several months ago, so you can't really attribute it to anything because you don't remember. What happened to me four months ago? <laughs> I get for steeping myself in a bath of tea for the second time. I'm gonna miss you guys. You're staying with me, okay? Hang in there. It's almost all gone. Look at what's left. I thought I would be happy that this experiment was almost over and like finally be able to repaint my toenails nicely, but I'm kind of sad. Like I don't want it to chip off now. February, March, April, May, June. July, is it July? It's been 10 months. Ben, you wanna see my nice toes? Mmm. Ew. <laughs> We may not be in good shape. In fact, we may be in awful shape, but we're still holding on. Jack, don't let go. Oh my God, I really need to cut my toenails. I almost feel like the end of this video is like giving up, even though that doesn't make any sense because this is out of my control. I'm not giving up on anything. My toenail polish is just growing out because my toenails grow over a year. That's what happens. But why? Okay, um, see you when I'm a more sane person. <laughs>
still desperately holding on to my one tiny last speck of toenail polish. But at this point, I'm gonna call the experiment because it's been exactly one year and that's just ridiculous. I'm getting attachment issues and I am now one year older than when I started this. So but let's take a quick look back at my initial predictions and see what happened in reality. I had predicted my first toenail chip at three weeks. Reality was six weeks. And my initial prediction for how long it would take for all the toenail polish to be gone was only six months. Is this a six month long experiment? But thank God I slept on that and decided to do math the next day. Math predicted that my toenail polish would last 368 days. It's September 18th. That's almost 368 days from the day I painted my toenails. Who says you don't learn anything in math class, huh? I've got one tiny, tiny speck left. For all intents and purposes, there really is no meaningful amount of toenail polish left. My toenails are just 10 times more disgusting than they were when I first started this, and I really, really need to cut them. We've also learned that toenail polish can last for an entire year, but I think my toenails grow slower than the average person. We've also learned that taking tea baths, especially with socks, and going to the spa and getting pedicures will make your toenail polish chip faster. I think most people would have chosen to repaint their toenails around the two month mark. Even if your toenail polish stays on for a couple months, it's probably gonna chip and look like crap until it grows out. And lastly, thanks to this experiment, there's probably more pictures of my feet on Wikifeet. All right, I'm finally gonna go repaint my toenails. Don't worry. I'll cut them first. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm totally crazy. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.